Welcome everyone to Pack Sun Week on the Dale Habit. Two leading ladies of the Pack Sun snowboard team, Michaela Casey and Faye Galini, are on the Habit. Plus, Christy Leskinen takes us to her homecoming, a pro ski and snowboard contest. Also, Jay Pickering gets spicy at the Cholula Triple Air Show at Mountain High. And from our Snickers soundstage in New York City, we have a performance you won't want to miss from the Hold Steady. Is it getting hot in here or what? Welcome, everyone. It is The Daily Habit. How are you doing, Pat Parnell? I'm joined by Faye Galini and Michaela Casey, uh, two ripping snowboarders. Welcome, girls. How are you doing? Thank you. Good. Thank you. Enjoying the California sun, oh, right? Oh, yeah. Getting your swerve on? <laughs> For sure. I heard, Michaela, you got in the water yesterday trying to get some barrels. Attempted some surfing yeah. skills. How'd that go for you? A little bit um, unsuccessful. It was pretty gnarly out there. <laughs> the current was taking me every which way, but yeah. I got up a couple times, got yeah. my pop-up down. All right. Say. And I guess the, the whole Paxson crew took you out? Did... Um, one of our ladies who work for us, I don't know. what. Stacy? Stacy, yeah. Yeah, she's kind of like the den mother of yeah. uh, all, all the girl shredders out there. She was uh, helping me out, trying to show me the waves, but... Yeah. We're going to have to go again. And I hear the big news, uh, <laughs> Faye. I hear they're, uh, they got a limo set up. You guys are hitting the Double XL Awards. I'm pretty excited. <laughs> yeah. Um, never been in a limo before. Ne are you serious? Really? I'm this almost 100% It'll be positive. better than prom. I guarantee it. For sure. That's going to no be so way. cool. Yeah. Better than prom? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So uh, I know you guys both got your starts in snowboarding in different areas. Uh, Michaela, you go back to kind of the... Roots still in Minnesota, still yep, live there, right? Still live there in the summers, can never leave. What's uh, what's it like uh, growing up riding in a place that, like, some of the things are just on the side of a, a riverbank, some of the resorts? Yeah, no. We have, like, elevation of 175 feet, I think. Yeah. But um, it's good. Um, there's a team there, G Team, they kind of set me up. We did some traveling, but it's like you base all your riding out of Minnesota, and, like, the jumps are icy. You ride at, like, nighttime, 5 to 7 every night, and... Then you go out to Colorado, it makes everything that much easier. It makes you strong like ox, yeah. that's what they say. Strong like ox. And you grew up in Utah, right? <laughs> Family yes. was uh, totally into skiing, right? Your yeah. dad was an avid skier. Yep. Uh, true, true or false? Uh, like lifetime pass to Snowbird? <laughs> true. How does one swing that? What did you have to do to get that? Um, to be completely honest, I don't know what my dad did. He worked there for a while. <laughs> yeah. Um, he works for Dothan IFC Tech now, builds chairlifts. Still works there, builds some trailers there. Helps to have them. connections. Yeah. Can I, can I ask you about this season? Uh, you had a, a shocker where you broke your pelvis in Italy. Yes. How fun was that? Oh, my gosh. So <laughs> much fun. Yeah. Unreal. But there's during a World Cup, right? Mm-hmm. It was during practice. Yeah. Um, took a tumble, just kind of rolled through a section painful, of rollers. As they say it is. They say pelvis Oh, is my. Right. Yes. Yeah? Yes. And you wanted to get right back in the mix. A lot of people need to know, like, you're, you're actively pursuing uh, a spot on the Olympic team for snowboard cross, right? Yeah, yeah. I, um, I felt like, I, I felt like they, they were saying that there was nothing, like, walking in on it couldn't re-injure it or anything. So I figured after, like, three weeks or so, I figured I could get back out there and snowboard. But yeah. it just didn't let me. <laughs> and I think that was a wise decision now. Yeah, but I think your, your eagerness just proves your gnarliness. So that's cool. <laughs> And you went like to Italy, Spain, all, all the different World Cup stops, and uh, also the Visa Series. Uh, mm -hmm. What do you think your chances are? Do you think you're going to get one of those spots? It's going to be tight next year. It's going to be tight. Like it's, it depends how many spots we get for border cross alone. Yeah. Like, I mean, if we get three of them, then I have, I'm, I have a pretty good chance. But if there's yeah. only two, there's a couple other girls that I'm kind of battling with. And outside of snowboard it. cross, I know Michaela, you're, uh, next season you're going to be all amped up for a lot more slope style, right? Yeah. Kind of re-upping your game? Probably aim towards slope style. I hear they might put it in the 2014, maybe. Eventually. Eventually I'd like to it'll see get that. there. Maybe PGS will slip out and slip, yeah. and slip in. But, uh, <laughs> that yeah. would be good. Yeah. And one, one last thing, I have to ask you this. Did I, did I or did I not see you in a Wii commercial? Oh, you saw me. Yeah. <laughs> We have, a, we have an actor in the mix, you guys. It's nice. Yeah. <laughs> so cool. Yeah, yeah it but it's uh, the Wii Ski and Snowboard uh, mm -hmm. commercial, right? Yep, we got it with some uh, people from the U.S. Ski team. I got to meet a couple of them. Me and another kid, Derek, who's on the Pakistan team, and we were just in a house all day playing Wii. People filmed us. Pretty cool. C celebrities, folks. All right, well, sit tight. <laughs> we got more coming up. You're watching The Daily Habit here on Fuel TV. Coming up, Christy Leskinen takes us behind the scenes of the first all female pro ski and snowboard contest. What is your all time favorite ski or snowboarding film? Text us 42248.
back in one of the Daily Habit presented by Snickers here with Fagalina and uh, Michaela Casey. And uh, I want to ask about Tyler Anderson because I believe uh, not only are you related, he was supposed to be here today. Yes. Right? What he happened left with uh, good old Tyler? Um, he got stuck. There's really big snowstorms, which is weird for April, but in Denver right now, and so he could not get out here. How convenient. So maybe a little uh, powder session for him tomorrow if he doesn't yeah. make it, right? We're still well, fingers crossed. Yeah, he's on. He, Supposedly coming here okay. for the limo ride, I'm sure. Right. <laughs> now, did you guys you guys grow up riding together? Because he's from Minnesota as well. Yep. We um, actually just live 10 minutes away from each other. Our families have always been close. Uh, my little brother tossed a snowboard eight years ago, and ever since then, we've just been doing it together. So you got taught by your younger bro. That's yeah. so cool. Yeah. yeah. And how about, I know your dad started off skiing, right? Mm -hmm. Does he, uh, is he still a pretty avid skier? Never switched to snowboarding? There was one point in time where he did snowboard. I think... Everyone in my family snowboarded at one point in time. Um, one of my brothers got hit by a car and he can't snowboard anymore. Um, one switched to skiing. My sister switched to skiing. Yep. My dad switched back to skiing. That's <laughs> nice to, you know, dabble and do yeah. both, which uh, we're going to check in right now with Christy Lesson. And she rips on the skis, but she, uh, she threw an event for skiing and snowboarding. Uh, they call it homecoming. It's kind of like prom, but, uh, but different. There's yeah. riding involved. Here it oh, is. Oh, they have limos? Yeah, there's limos. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Christy. Stick around. We'll be right back with Faye Galini and Michaela Casey. You are watching The Daily Habit here on Fuel TV. Welcome back. everyone to The Daily Habit here with Michaela Casey and Faye Galini. Saw some habit-forming trivia and a lot of chargers on the PacSun team. And uh, we've been talking about uh, snowboard cross, half pipe, and a little bit of slope style. But I want to get your, uh, your guys' opinion on who do you think is charging in women's slope style right now? There's a lot of good talent out there, safe uh, to say. Yeah, as always, Jamie Anderson, but she kind of had an injury this year, which made some other girls progress harder, such uh, as Jenny Jones, Jenna Mayan. Yeah. There's some good girls that are pushing it. Spencer O'Brien did really good this year. Yeah, Spencer O'Brien really came out with the Winter Dew Tour. I was like, you know, when she came out, she's like, no, no, I'm going to like focus on the Winter Dew Tour. And she not, it wasn't just at the first stop, but all stops, like, found herself uh, in the top five. That's super impressive. Um, didn't Shirsty Buhas won the last two U.S. Opens? Yeah. So, which is That's, real impressive. Well, no, everyone talks about Shirsty, and they're always like, oh, yeah, she's got huge air to fake ease in the half pipe. Yeah, and, yeah she's got she, it all. Kind of like Tora Bright, too. Tora Bright, I think it's one of those girls, if she didn't just focus in the half pipe and did more slope style, mm -hmm. I don't know, I think she definitely pushed the girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you think there's, do you think there's a... A comfort zone with some of the girls that, that sit at the top, if there's nobody pushing them, that they won't continue to progress a little bit? Mm-hmm. Why push yourself to do a five when you only have to do a three to win, you know? Yeah. It's just like, I don't know, I don't, I don't think that if they're not going to get pushed to do something bigger to win, then they're not going to do it. Yeah, well, it's, uh, it's, it's good to see that there's enough riders right now that's pushing everyone, both on the men's and women's side. Yeah. Uh, I know you guys like Big Air. Right now we're going to check in a little local mountain here. Uh, I think you might be able to get uh, some runs in this week while you're in California. I think they're still open. Mountain High, site of the Cholula Triple Air Show, uh, the richest one-day triple air contest in the nation. Wow, I didn't know that. Here it is. Hey, Daily Habit, what's going on? Jackie Pickering here at the Mountain High Ski Resort for the $25,000 Cholula Triple Air Show. The top male rider is taking home $10,000 and the top female rider, a good four grand. So you know we're going to see levels of all types out here on the mountain today. All right, the 11th year for the Cholula Triple Air Show. How has this thing evolved? Well, it seems like it gets bigger and better every year. And especially this year, somehow they special ordered custom powder the night before. What does it take for these competitors to really set themselves apart from everybody else? There's over 50 guys in the first round. They got to go bigger. They got to hold their grabs out longer. They can't be setting their hands down when they land. A lot of guys are hand checking. Little things like that are going to make them lose points real fast. Four grand on the line. How bad do you want this? I want it really bad. I have my game face on. I'm willing to risk my limbs. <laughs> it's true though, I'm in debt four grand to my school, exactly four grand. Yeah, there's money involved, but progression as well. I mean, it's motivation. I love stuff like this. Now, this is a Cholula Big Air show. Would you like to drink some Cholula? Well, I've been to Mexico. I know Cholula, so. You're getting called out. You're getting called out right now by a little kid. Oh, you got in the bottle. <laughs> She just got shown up by, like, a grom. Give me the bottle. 
Getting shown up by a 12 year old is not popping. I'm not even giving you the bottle back. I'm done with this yeah, competition. You know. This kid downed a whole bottle and you're only going to get a couple chugs in? I'm a little yeah, disappointed, one Dan. One more go. I think she came out somewhere else. You, my lady, are the winner of a big whopping four grand. You gotta be stoked about this. Yeah, I'm so stoked. I was just stoked to win my run, so now I'm really excited to actually win. All right, I'm here at the winner, $10,000 richer right here, Danny. Over 50 riders, what was it like? What's the competition like today? Insanely tough, everyone was killing it. I'm just psyched that I landed my run and got so much money. This is the most money I've ever won, so I'm pretty stoked. Welcome back, everyone, to the Daily Habit. Jessica, I'd love to see that spirit. She's such a gamer. Um, you guys, seeing that we have Pac Sun royalty here, uh, I think it's time to bring out the basket of embarrassment. Are you guys ready for this? Yes. Embarrassing <laughs> moments that we found out about you, and I'm just going to dig in here. It's not really a contest, but the, uh, the studio audience will decide who has the most embarrassing moment. You guys are like, whatever. <laughs> here we go. Okay, first one is, wow, okay. Ooh. Faye, are you ready? <laughs> so um, for legal reasons, I'm going to have to have you uh, describe this, but uh, Faye once lost her underwear. <laughs> um, please? Okay, well, um, I was going downtown with my family in Salt Lake one day. Okay. In a hurry, threw on some dirty pants, walking down the street, <laughs> casual, you know, turn around, my brother's laughing, holding my underwear. Hey, your underwear fell out of your pants. Literally through the pantalones, down onto <laughs> right the street. Out, right out the ankle. I, <laughs> was like, I just, can we get a round of applause just for admitting that? Okay, all right, next one. I, I don't know what to say, I'm speechless. Well, glad you took, uh, took care of that one. Okay, uh, oh, I love this. Michaela is a crazed Jonas Brothers fan. So much so, you even think Nick Jonas is kind of hot? Oh, Kevin. Oh, Kevin, I see. Wow, wow, okay. Oh, no, I'm just a fan. Okay. You're just a fan? And yep. should we point out that uh, Joe Jonas needs to call you? If, I mean, if you're watching this, you want to shoot me a call, that'd be okay. Okay. And, and just, <laughs> let's let the applause uh, do, the, do the work here. Is it Jonas or is it lost underwear? Jonas? <laughs> lost underwear? <laughs> yeah. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. And uh, no right or wrong, I know you guys are set up. To, uh, what do you got coming up for the summer? Plans? A lot of wakeboarding and tubing yes. in Minnesota. Tubing. Tubing. Yes. <laughs> Not getting Extreme tubed tubing. this way, but tube behind a boat on yeah. the lake, right? Oh, yeah. And some snowboarding? Yeah. Some, uh, some, some summer camps? Hood, some summer camps, training. Probably some New Zealand. Um. Nice. Mm -hmm. And we are going to see you in Vancouver. You're going to make the Olympic team. We're do us all proud? <laughs> okay. Thank you so much for coming on, you guys. Uh, definitely appreciated it.